Hey, this is Stan Arthur. Today I'm going to show you how to make this little nine clip grid in Adobe Premiere Pro quickly and easily. Take you about 10 minutes. The first thing I did to facilitate this was to create a little grid in Adobe After Effects. Let me show you how I did that. First thing I'm going to do is create a new composition. It's going to be 1920 by 1080, frame rate, all that length doesn't matter. Okay, now I'm going to create a new solid from layer, new solid, 1920 by 1080, make comp size, color doesn't matter. All right, and over here in effect, I'm going to go to generate grid. And I'm going to change the grid color to black. Now I'm going to change the anchor point which is right in the center right now. And we're going to do that by going size from width and height sliders. And we're going to take the anchor and we're going to make this zero and make this zero. Okay, now the anchor point is up in the, um, let me make this to fit. The anchor point is up in the upper left hand corner. Okay, now in order to pull this off, we only want three wide and three tall, but the default is 200, doesn't matter. You can still stretch it out. Now, let me show you something real interesting here. We're going to get it right, right about where it's right there. And, oh, I can see it's going to be 640 because you know what? 9, 1920 divided by three is 640. And this, to, in order to get this to be three, it's going to be, uh, oh, it's going to be 360 because that's one third of 1080. So we've got our grid, but we don't want to save it as a sequence or, or whatever. We're going to save it as a Photoshop file. We can do that by going composition, save frame as Photoshop layers. And then we're going to name it nine panel grid and we're done. Now we can get out of After Effects. Okay, so back in Premiere Pro now, I'm just going to take one of my clips and drag it into the new item icon and create a new sequence. Okay, this one's called Desert Drive, and it's 1920 by 1080. Now, your, all your clips need to be 1920 by 1080 to make this work quickly and easily. If you have one that's, say, too small, uh, let me give you an example here. Uh, bag o' money. I'm going to put this here, right here. Now, now, look, it's not quite 1080, but what you can do is you can size it up like that. I'm going to get it just right. Okay, and then you can nest it by right-clicking, click Nest. Okay, then you're good to go. Okay, but anyway, we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to take the clips that are all the right size and put them on the timeline. There's no quick and easy way of doing this, so you just got to take them out of your project panel and put them into your sequence on the timeline. Uh, and so you just got to start doing it. And I'm going to do this in super fast mode here. Now they're all the same length. That just keeps them all nice and tidy. Now, when I take this uh, nine panel grid and I stick it on the top, create a new track, and also just for fun, I created a white color mat. And I'm gonna add a new track here and put that white color mat here. Just so that when we're moving the clips around, it's easier to see them against this black grid. You see the black grid there on the clip. Now it's time to resize all of the clips. Not the color mat, not the grid, but the clips. I'm gonna just choose one, and I'm gonna make it 33 and a third in scale. And then I can right click and copy that, and then select the rest of the clips, the other eight clips, and just hit Control V to paste that on. Now they're all in the same position, and we're gonna use the grid to help us quickly align them. Um, let's see, I want this one called end of reel. I want that one to be in the center. So we're just going to leave that one alone. But let's take the other two projector clips and move them to the left and to the right. So projector spin, I'm going to take that on the position and move it like so. I'm just eyeballing this for now. Okay. And then we're going to take movie projector and we're going to move it to the right. Now what you're going to find here is that 
these things, uh, the coordinates of these things, the position, are going to round out into some very uh, round numbers, like 1600 by 540, that's exactly right. Uh, this other one here, projector spin, uh, that's going to be 320 by 540. That's going to be exactly right. That's going to line up perfectly. All right, now let's take the other ones and move them around. Let's see, let's go up with this one. And if you hold the, the control key, you can move them more slowly. So we're going to do that. That one's going to be 960 by 180, so let's just punch 180 in. Okay, and uh, ballet routine. Well, let's take her and put her over and up. I see that's going to be 180 by 320. There we go. Okay, almost done. Bikes to school. Let's see. Let's move that over and up. That's going to be 180 by 1600. Yeah, let's just punch in 1600. Okay, we've got three more to go. Break and bounce. Alright, that's going to be uh, 960 by 900. Okay, what are we missing here? Um, Desert Drive. Okay, that's going to be 900 by 360. So let's just type in 360. So we're going to take head in clouds. We're going to go over and down. And that's going to be it's going to be 900 by what you tell me? 1600. And there we go. We've got her all done. And uh, nor for this play, we're going to have to uh, render it. And there you have it. There you go, playing real nicely. Get all nine clips on a grid. See there, just working beautifully. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Stan Arthur. We'll see you again next time.